Hey, what up you guys? It's Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dish. And in this video for my Old Movie Month May series, I'm going to be ranking the Marx Brothers movies. And watching these old Marx Brothers movies has been probably the highlight of this whole series that I'm doing. Because I never really saw these guys before this. I always knew who Groucho Marx was. I kind of knew Harpo from the cartoons, like the old Warner Brothers cartoons. But um, yeah, other than that, I didn't know anything about Chico or who even Zeppo was. And I just didn't really understand what they were about. Like, I kind of thought that they were supposed to be sort of like kind of hipsterish, like the hipster Three Stooges or something. But no, they're more like, um, kind of like Looney Tunes. Like a lot of the Warner Brothers cartoons were inspired by these guys, like especially Bugs Bunny is supposed to be Groucho Marx. So when I started looking at it that way, I liked them a lot more. And then also I didn't know that they did music and I was amazed, I was blown away by their musical stuff. So, all right, so without going too long about it, uh, yeah, let's just get into the ranking. Oh, and I will say too that there is one that I didn't put on the list. It's it's called um, The Story of Mankind, which I've heard doesn't really count as a Marx Brother movie, even though they're in it. Um, that's more just kind of like, I think they're doing sort of like cameo roles or something. I don't think people usually count it as a Marx Brothers movie. So I don't know. I didn't see that one. Maybe I'll check it out at some point, but I, didn't, I left it off of this list. All right, so let's rank these. Uh, coming up at number 13 is going to be Room Service. And uh, this was, I was looking forward to this one because it has Lucille Ball in it and I like her. But um, no, this one was pretty bad. I thought it was going to be kind of like mid-level, but I didn't care for this one too much. And um, I almost gave up watching their movies actually after this one because I watched Duck Soup. And I think this might have been the third one I watched after Night at the Opera. Maybe on a rewatch or something, I'll find something I like about it. But for right now, it's number 13, Room Service. All right, coming up at number 12 is going to be The Coconuts. And um, this is about like a hotel that they're running. And uh, this was actually, this was the first one they ever put on film, I believe. 1929, I think. At that time in movies, they didn't know how to um, get audio equipment to do what it does now. Like I, they had one microphone that they would place in the corner of a room and it would try to pick up all the sound. So it, it suffers mainly because of that. Uh, and then also there's just too many musical numbers. And for how many musical numbers there are in this with the bad audio, it's just kind of like, I don't know, I kind of lost interest in it a little bit. It's got its moments and it's worth checking out, but I'm going to leave that at number 12. All right, coming up at number 11 is A Night in Casablanca. This was okay. This one is uh, directed by Archie Mayo, who's a good director. To me, this one was a little bit boring, but it had some funny moments, like Harpo and Groucho in the elevator. And then Harpo's um, harp scene in this is pretty cool, too. All right, coming up at number 10 is Love Happy. And this is one uh, Harpo... Uh, wrote for himself and it's pretty much a Harpo vehicle and it wasn't originally going to even have Groucho in it but they threw him in at the last minute and it kind of you can figure it out because he's he's the narrator and then he's in like one extra scene or something but mostly this was going to be just a Harpo and then Chico's in it too a little bit and I've heard people say this is the worst one but I actually kind of liked it and this is also uh, I believe the screen debut of Marilyn Monroe she has a little one scene in this and I think this is maybe the first time she was ever in a movie and I think maybe Groucho Marx discovered Marilyn Monroe but that's mainly what people watch it for now is because she's in it but uh, if you like Harpo Harpo is my favorite Marx brother and uh, this is a funny one with him. What's funny about this one too is, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but usually in the movies, people hate when he's around. Like the audience loves him, but the characters he's around in the room don't like him being there, except for maybe like Chico or Groucho. But um, in this one, everyone loves Harpo. And he walks down the street and they're going like, Harpo, my favorite person in the world. So he's playing a very lovable character in this. I wouldn't say this one is like overly funny or anything, but I did like it. I had a fun time watching it. And um, I don't know, it's just, it kind of made me happy. Hey, coming up at number nine is The Big Store. And this one had its moments. Um, mainly the piano scene with Chico and Harpo is really good in this. And this one had a lot of like kind of Three Stooge sound effects going on in it for some reason. And then they also did the fast motion that the Three Stooges always do. Like where it's like, I don't know, double frame rate and people running around super fast. The ending of this is all that fast motion kind of thing. It's pretty hilarious. It had some really, really cheesy music going on. I would say this one's more unintentionally funny than it is intentionally funny some of the jokes are pretty funny but then like it's got some other stuff that i'm just like oh my god why did they do that so that's number nine the big store that's that one's all right all right coming up at number eight is at the circus 
And this one is okay. Um, it does get a little cheesy towards the end, but it's got some fun stuff in it. And then I'd say the first half where they're on the train is the best stuff in the movie. I think this is maybe the only one too where Groucho looks like he's wearing a wig or something because after this it seems like he kind of went back to his natural hair which he was sort of always balding a little bit but this one it looks like I don't know it's like the worst two payers on the I, I was distracted by his hair the whole time I was like what the hell and Chico's piano scene in this is really cool probably my second favorite piano solo that he does in these all right coming up at number seven is go west and this one I actually like better than I thought I would. I thought it was gonna be terrible just because I was like, oh my god, they're in the they're doing like a cowboy movie. It has some funny stuff in it, especially the opening scene where they're all in the train station and uh Harpo is like giving Groucho a dollar so to get the change and then he pulls it out of his pocket with a string. And Groucho in this one keeps doing this weird laugh. He doesn't do it in any of the other movies where he laughs like, kind of like ha 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 ha. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was pretty funny. I kind of got lost in the plot of this one. I was just like, I don't even know what's going on anymore, but it was still funny stuff. And then this one is my favorite of all of, uh, Chico's piano solos. This one, the solo scene in this is really awesome. All right, coming up at number six is Animal Crackers. Mainly, I like the Groucho song, um, I, have to be, I Have to Go Now. Hello, I Must Be Going, that's the name of it. He finally gets to his own party, and then he just wants to leave the whole time. And I thought this one was... Is a lot better than the coconuts and this is mostly like based on their stage stuff too and the whole scene with Chico and Harpo stealing the um the painting is really funny and Harpo is kind of psychotic in this one uh he starts he pulls a shotgun out and starts shooting at people in this hey okay, coming up at number five is gonna be duck soup and uh, this is a lot of people's favorite one. It's not my favorite. I actually didn't even like it the first time I watched it, but rewatching it, I liked it a little better. Probably the best scene in this to me is uh, when they're all dressed up as Groucho and they're doing the mirror scene. To me, I thought that was hilarious. I do like it a little better each time I watch it. Groucho was really funny in this one. I didn't think Chico and Harpo were as good in this one as they are in the other stuff. So that's a big reason why for me it's a little lower on the list. Because I kind of, I like those guys a lot. And Zeppo has a little bit more to do in this than he did in um, Animal Crackers, I believe. Yeah, I do like this one. It's just not my favorite. So number five, Duck Soup. Hey, right, coming up at number four is A Night at the Opera. And uh, this one, is, if you're going to watch one of these with your family, this is probably the best one to go with, A Night at the Opera. I would say this is probably their most cinematic movie. Like, even the lighting and the shadows and everything is really cool in this one. And unfortunately, Zeppo dropped out of the act in, in this one. But um, I think if he was in this, I think I would have liked it even way better just because... The guy they got to play the opera singer is obviously supposed to be like Zeppo's role. So this would have probably been his big moment. And you got uh, the guy that played Patty Ryan in The Public Enemy in this as a cop. And the opening with Groucho at the dinner table is pretty hilarious. I think Margaret Dumont is complaining that she's been there an hour and a half waiting for him. And then he goes, yeah, you ate with your back to me. I, when I go to dinner with a woman, I expect her to look at my face. That's the price she has to pay. <laughs> and then Harpo's harp scene in this is the best. My my favorite Harpo harp solo. I noticed they kept trying to recapture it um, in the in the later movies, but they never got, did it as good as in this one, where it's like all the people around him looking at him while he's playing the harp. I wouldn't say this is their funniest one, but I would say it's probably their most like cinematic and magical one, <laughs> that makes sense, magical. All right, coming up at number three is A Day at the Races. And to me, I thought this one was a lot funnier than Night at the Opera. Lots of funny bits in this. I love Groucho as the, the horse doctor. And then probably one of the funniest scenes is that he calls up the guy and then the guy, um, I forget what he's trying to do, but he's trying to distract the guy from the phone. So he keeps calling him over the radio while he's on the phone with him. And he has to like run away from the phone. And then Chico uh, selling Groucho the, um, all the books is hilarious. And then once again, this has another really cool uh, Harpo Harp scene where um, he starts off playing the piano. And then the, he keeps destroying it more and more until he just takes the piano uh, strings and then plays it like a harp. Uh, my only complaint about this movie is it's a little bit too long and a little bit too many like musical numbers that aren't like the Marx Brother musical numbers. It's like the other characters doing musical stuff. So to me, that's where it suffers a little bit. But other than that, I thought it was a really good one. Oh, and then also it does have some um, racial humor in it that's kind of in poor taste. Hey, coming up at number two is Monkey Business. 
And to me, this is the one that really where I like understood what their humor was. If you haven't seen any of the Marx Brothers movies, I think Monkey Business is the best one to start with because right away you kind of get what these guys are about. It starts with them as stowaways in the bottom of this ship and the ship captain's looking for them. And they're all in barrels and they're singing that sweet Adeline song. So like you just see these four barrels and then hear like sweet Adeline. And I guess Harpo's not singing because he never speaks. And it's just got a lot of funny stuff. And then also Zeppo has the most to do in this. So they're all kind of equal and just lots of funny bits in this. Like Harpo running away from the ship captain and he goes to a puppet show and the captain's looking for him and he's making faces. He's basically, his face looks like a puppet. And then they find out that there's a movie star on board. So they're all trying to, um, cause they're stowaways. So they don't know how they're gonna get past the guards to get off the ship. So they're all pretending to be this movie star. And they like, they show the guy the photo and he goes like, that's not you. So they all have to sing this song to prove that they're the guy. But all four of them are proven to be the guy. So it's like, well, there's only one guy. Yeah, I thought this one was a blast. Monkey business, number two. And number one, my favorite one is gonna be Horse Feathers. And I just thought this worked the best for their humor. I thought Groucho was really funny in this one. And Groucho going to the speakeasy and doing the whole password scene with uh, Chico. They're all just trying to bang the same uh, widow, I guess, <laughs> college widow. Oh, and then he throws her off the life preserver for, cause she's trying to do baby talk to manipulate him. So he goes like, was that you or the duck? And then he's just like, I don't know, I pushes her off. And then she's saying, throw me the lifesaver. He takes lifesaver candies out of his pocket and throws her one. I think she might have died. I don't think you see her again after that. And then they're doing all the ridiculous football plays. Chico is the quarterback is hilarious. He just keeps saying like, hey, diddle diddle, this time we go through the middle. Anything that's a nursery rhyme, that's the play. And then when I was rewatching it the other night, I noticed something really hilarious. So Harpo is a dog catcher in this one. So he has dog catcher on his hat, like a big sign that says dog catcher in his hat and then later Groucho wants him to kidnap the other football players from the team so when he shows up you don't even like they don't focus on it or anything you I just noticed his hat says kidnapper on it yeah number one horse feathers all right guys that's gonna do it that's my uh, ranking for the Marx Brothers movies these are a blast I highly recommend them if you haven't seen any of them if you have seen them let me know your favorites let me know your favorite moments and all that is Danny B you're watching the trash dash hit the like button comment and subscribe peace out